Hello, Cancer, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Reading. Thank you, Cancer, so much for joining me. I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. So, Cancer, for today's Tarot Reading, let's look at your love reading for April 2024. Let's find out everything that you need to know, who is coming into the picture, what is it that you need to know, and any possible outcome. Excellent. So, I also want to mention it is almost Easter soon. And our Master Tarot course is on sale at this very minute. So if you do want to learn how to read for yourself or for loved ones, this course is for you. It's 100% online. It is self-paced and everything can be downloaded onto your desktop or laptop. So if you are interested in grabbing our Easter sale, just visit fifigigitarot.com. Excellent. So... Let's begin. Let's have a look at Cancer's love reading for April 2024. Okay. April Behind the deck, we have the strength card, Leo energy, have courage, Cancer, to tame any negative thoughts. In any endeavor that you do, whatever you face, whatever it is that you're trying to reach for, have courage and walk this path with grace in your head held high here. Strength also encourages us to look after our body, to look after our mental health, our body, make sure we are eating well, not eating any processed foods. Our health needs to be a, a big priority here. So have strength and have courage to do whatever it is in your life at this very moment. Because you also have the eight of pentacles behind too. It's something that you're working on, something that you're very skillful at. But you're putting your heart and soul into something. You're going to get paid really well for it too. That's just an extra message there. Okay, Cancer, let's have a look at your cards. Excellent. So we do have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles about equal give and take here. As you can see, this person's being very, very generous, offering money between two people. So again, it looks like April, the big energy for April is all about equal give and take here. Both parties putting their work into a relationship. Two people coming together. And working together. No more, no less. If we look at you, Cancer, you're being represented as the Queen of Wands. Excellent. So for the month of April, it's all about taking action. You see something that you love you f and you feel that it, it's right for you, you have to take action. You may also be receiving very good advice from someone of a fire sign, which could be Leo, Sagittarius, could be Aries also. Listen to them because these people also give good advice. They give chances when they see potential. But the big message here, Cancer, is for you to take action. You see something, you go for it. It's like, hold my wand, please. I need to do this. What else? Oh, okay. Someone's definitely coming into the picture. We have the King of Pentacles. One of my favorite kings. This king is very grounded. Very cool, calm, collected, generous, very good with money, very stable also. They love stability. They love to build foundations with someone. So they like someone that's very like-minded, that shares the same values, the same views. But most of all, this person knows how, they know how to make money too. And they're very, they like stability, stability in career, love, family, literally everything here. What else? Mm, there's a golden opportunity coming your way, Cancer, with the page of pentacles here. Interesting. So do expect messages. These are messages of curiosity. This is also the student card. So I feel that this person is very curious about you, wants to learn more about you, Cancer. This person could be maybe the same age, but they're very young at heart because they're being represented as a page of pentacles. So they have a young heart, a free spirit, someone that wants to go on a journey, adventure, explore. Interesting. 
Six of Swords. Excellent. So moving away from turbulent times and into calmer waters. Here we go. So you're moving away, Cancer, from any stress, any anxieties that's been building up in your life that has been troubling you, just raining your energy. So you're moving away from those times. The swords are pointing down. That means closure. Anything that you have had to have said in the past, you said it. You got it out of your system. The person on the boat represents your spirit team. They are always with you. This is also the travel card. So you also may be traveling, Cancer. Could be overseas, could be interstate, could be literally somewhere that you're going. The fool. So this person, yeah. Interesting. This person's going to take that leap of faith with you. They're going to take a chance with you. They're going to listen. It's like they're listening to their gut instinct and saying, you know what? If this feels right with cancer, I'm going to take a chance. Whatever happens, happens. Come what may. This is someone that's, again, acting very free-spirited, very young at heart. As you can see, this is a very young person. Now, Again, the age doesn't matter, but what I'm what I am saying here that this person is looking for adventure, looking for that partner to do a lot, to experience things, to try new things, to experience new experiences. So yeah, this person, I'm gonna say very adventurous. Yeah. You also have the two of cups. This is beautiful. So answer. You're going to fall in love with this person, plain and simple. Yeah. As you can see, these two people sharing two cups together. Think about this card as your partner in crime, your ultimate team player, someone that matches and mirrors you, that shares the same values, that shares your the same ideas, that wants the same thing. So will emotions be triggered? Absolutely, yes. Emotions are definitely going to be triggered here. What else do we have? Oh my God. The star. Excellent. The star of Bethlehem, the star of destiny. So this is destined to happen. Absolutely. You can literally pause this video, cancer, and make a wish. Make a wish with intention. See it, hear it, and feel it in your mind's eye. This is a wonderful card here. So because we do have a major arcana, yes, this is showing this is showing that your spirit team, Cancer, the other person's spirit team are working in the background to make this work, to make this arrangement to happen. We end with the Hierophant. Excellent. This is Taurus energy. Amazing. Taurus energy, and you also have the King of Pentacles. So I definitely feel that you're going to be dealing with an Earth sign. But what I love about the Hierophant, that this is commitment card. You're going to commit to this person, Cancer. Now, the Hierophant is not only just commitment, it's also a traditional card. So what do I mean by that? It could be a possibility of having more meetings face-to-face. Meetings, more not so much online texting. No, 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 no. This is more face to face now. This is getting further now. This is getting deeper. And if you are already with someone, you expect there's going to be more further commitment. If the relationship has been, for example, just dating at the moment, no, no, no. Things are going to definitely change. And this person wants commitment. I feel you want the same too, Cancer. That deep commitment, that person, you know, that serious conversation where you got to sit down with your person, have that serious moment. Think about that kind of talk where this person might open up, express how they feel about you, what they want for the future, what they want long term. I feel you're going to do the same also, Cancer, that you want that commitment with this person. Interesting. Let's clarify this reading. I'm going to clarify this reading now. Oh, there's a card here. Let's clarify this reading now with the Tarot of Owls. Interesting. Let's have a look. Clarify this reading. What else does Cancer need to know, please? After all, you've got very, very good cards, Cancer. Very good cards. Okay, what does Cancer need to know, please? It's 
Six of Pentacles, also with the Queen of Swords. <laughs> so I mentioned before with the Six of Pentacles that this card is all about equal give and take. Everybody put in their hard work, everybody working together. But this is a very, very generous card. The Queen of Swords does show, if you notice with the picture, there are butterflies surrounding the owl. That means a transition. So yes, the April, the month for the month of April, there will be a transition here. A good transition, though. You're going to probably see yourself, Cancer, and your person just really getting along, working, working together. But what is also going to help in this relationship is the communication. The sword is pointing up here. Communicate. Never hold anything back here. Always ex express how you're feeling, what's on your mind. Express everything. The communication will be super important between the both of you. The Queen of Wands, also the Queen of Pentacles. So we have the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. So the Queen of Pentacles, very similar traits. Be cool, calm, collected, ground yourself. Be responsible. So the Queen of Pentacles, she's known to be very responsible with her money. She's known to take care of business to lead, not and she's not afraid to make choices, to stand up, to take the next step, even though when we do take the next step, there's uncertainty in life, in anything, in the future, in the next step, whatever we plan, there's always uncertainty. Walk this path with grace, with confidence, and take action. The King of Pentacles, excellent, also with the Six of Cups. You know this person, definitely. Oh yeah, Six of Cups. You know this person. This person can be from work, family, friends. This person can be from school, maybe a school you went together in high school, even primary school, even from a past life. The reason why I say past life, because you just feel so confident with each other. You feel like you can just relax around this person. You can just be yourself around this person. You don't have to worry about being judged or uh, being worried about your insecurities or your uh, your vulnerabilities. No, this is really, really good. Also with the Six of Cups, it's also urging your person to reconnect with their childhood. I believe, and because this person has come up with the page and the fool, they already do connect with their childhood. In other words, they like to have fun. They like to have adventure. It's not just about work, work, work. No, this person likes to have fun, definitely. The page of pentacles, also with the page of wands. Excellent. Like I mentioned before, so we have two pages here. Yeah, do expect a golden opportunity to come your way and more messages. These are more messages. So I your person is going to be messaging you, but also taking action because the page of wands does nudge us to say, hey, come on, now we've got to take action. We've got to step up now. If you love cancer so much, what else are you willing to do? So this person, yeah, as you can see, the owl has a lizard in its mouth. That's a salamander walking through fire. So this person can make mountains move, if you know what I mean. Like, it doesn't matter what obstacles are in this person's way. Yeah, they will go for it. They will fight for this relationship. Absolutely. The Six of Swords, also with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, amazing. Mental clarity. So both of you, as a mutual part of this reading, both of you are going to be in a really good place with the Ace of Swords. You're going to have that mental clarity, that mental determination. It's like being really, but really sure of each other. Like being that, having that resilience. You don't care what's in the way, what obstacles, what challenges are in the way. It's like with this card, you break through it. You break through everything. Awesome. The Fool, also with the Eight of Wands. Excellent news are coming your way. With the Eight of Wands. So you may be dealing with someone that's well-traveled. You may be dealing with someone that could be a foreigner, may have a different accent, maybe someone completely uh, different from a different country perhaps. They're bringing excellent news. 
The Eight of Wands is always showing positive news. So yes, do expect excellent news coming your way. I do feel it's going to come more in a form of a message because you do have two pages here. The Two of Cups, my favorite card. Beautiful Cancer. What else do we have? Oh my God, the Magician. Gemini and Virgo Energy, the card of manifestation. You manifested this, Cancer, with all your wishes. You asked. And literally, the universe said, your wish is my command. So you can manifest anything. You can literally do anything. You have all the tools, all the resources to literally do anything. And I will say this, because you're being represented as the magician, you're very original. What do I mean by that? You're going to be quite unique to this person. You're someone that this person has never gone out with. Very, very different, but in an excellent and very inspiring way. So you're going to really be triggering this person. You're going to be moving them in the sense that you're different. You have a great personality. You have very good values. And this is what this person is going to really value that. The star. Oh, oh my God. This is destined. The lovers. This is a major arcana. This is Gemini energy. You may be dealing with a Gemini because we have Gemini here, Gemini Virgo, and Gemini, the Queen of Swords. You may be dealing with an air sign. We have an ace here also. The lovers, this is destined to happen. The lovers is someone that you just feel that connection with. It's like you're joined at the hip. Nothing can separate the both of you. Amazing. This is absolutely beautiful. Now, I need to ask you, Cancer, with the Hierophant, it does involve commitment, okay? You also have the Three of Swords. Cancer, are you afraid of commitment and getting your heart broken because of past relationships? Because the Hierophant, this is an excellent card, but... I, I'm also picking up that you're afraid that if you commit, what if I get my heart broken again? What if? That's a thing. It's just what if. Justice, Libra energy, find that balance. You need to find that balance because at the moment, we're just feeding our shadow self. No, we need to start to change that because I feel like this is such a beautiful reading. It's like I'm picking up, this is good, too good to be true. Too good to be true. Um, this is like um, getting my hopes up. No, 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 no. What I do feel that we do need to leave past behind. You leave the past exactly where it needs to be in the past because you have something amazing to look forward to. And even though you have the Hierophant, the commitment card, I feel though, Cancer, that you're afraid of getting your heart broken. But justice is showing, hey, Find that balance. Let go of things that no longer serve you. And you end with a three of pentacles. The three of pentacles is the ultimate team player. This person wants to be team cancer. The three of pentacles is people working with you, not against you. So both of you are going to be the ultimate team, your ultimate tribe, your ultimate group that are going to be working together. And you can definitely trust this person. This person can trust you also, Cancer. So yes, the three of pentacles working together, everybody putting their input, everybody just being there for each other through the good and through the bad times. I'm going to take out one more card, the three of wands. Excellent card. Definitely meet this person halfway. Don't hold back. Just do not hold back. At least meet this person halfway with the three of wands. Your ship is definitely coming. So a lot of people think when they look at the three of wands, is my ship leaving or is it is it coming? It's definitely coming. So this, this is definitely happening. This is definitely coming. But we need to let go. Let go of any insecurities, worries. Let go of the past judgments or what if this person hurts me you've got to take the situation like this come what may be open to it 
and show this person who you really are because you cannot afford not to be you. You need to be you, Cancer, because like I said, you're unique, you're original. Be yourself because this person, yeah, they love you. Absolutely. Whenever, you, whenever I see the two of cups and the lovers together, this means absolutely true love. Just don't hold back. Don't let the three of swords cloud your judgment or contaminate any thoughts about this person. Excellent reading, though. Overall, Cancer, beautiful reading. I love it. Fantastic power to you. Have a wonderful um, Easter break. Please stay safe, and I will see you at the next reading. Ciao for now.